Okay, everybody. This is the next one in my Swan Lake series. I'm praying that y'all didn't cut, cut off by that phone call. I won't know until I watch these. All right, next in my Swan Lake. Let's get started. Do you see why I'm giving this away? This is why. Whole lot of Swan Laking. Okay, I shoved these in here just in case if I needed them. Um, so let's see. This one is a twisted easel. Okay. Yep, this is a twisted easel card. So this one is a quick one. And I want to say with this twisted easel. Um, that I did not do any mats and layers. I mean, no, um, not mats and layers, no ducks or, or nothing for this one on purpose. And that's because I wasn't sure where it was going to go, but I didn't want it to be another Swan Lake type thing. So I didn't put anything, um, in here. Like I didn't do any sentiments or anything. So I will once, um, See, this is a, just a twisted easel. Okay, but I will once I decide who is it going to go to and for what occasion. One of my um, sisters from church preached. Uh-oh, did I do that backwards? Oh, no, I didn't. Duh. Um, she preached today, so I may send this to her um, in a thank you for the word type of thing if you understand what I mean um, sometimes it takes people who you know that to preach to you and you don't even realize they preaching to you okay so this will go inside of there I'm out again Let's see if I make it through this series with these, uh, <laughs> and, and, or run out of tape first, y'all. <laughs> okay, so this is tape number one, one, two, three, four, five. Five out of nine, because it was eight refills. So this is number five. First of all, you can already tell that these little babies don't go very far <laughs> that's the reason why the refills happen okay so then we're going to take this part and we're going to pop him up and this probably should have been one of the cards that i did close to last just to show you that um i was tired of color uh cutting out pieces die cutting pieces which in my brain if i had been thinking i would have just colored a few pages and popped that baby on my skin and cut and cut them out but i did not and so this is just gonna go right there and now we have a twisted easel see boop boop there we go super cute Okay, that is number one. There. And the next one in the row. This one is a four by six. I wanted to say something about the four by six cards. Um, we got so many four by six and no A2. So I was trying to make an A2 card and I had to create my own card base. And I have so much Crafters Companion stuff. But I just, for the, I could not find an A2. I must have used them all. And so now you're going to see a lot of six by four by six card bases. Because why? Because they trained us. Oh, I didn't color this one in. They trained us to have um, four by six cards. Okay, so this is, this is our Z Fold card. Yep, that's the Z Fold one. <laughs> Traditional Z Fold, that is. Okay, so I'm taking this piece. And this die is from the Crafters Companion set. 
And I just like, that is just super cute. And I just used it as a cutout for the inside of my card base. Just so it wouldn't just be plain and flat. Um, and have some kind of dimensionality to it, okay? So that goes there. And then this one, get matted to that one. Just like that. So we're matting that one. And this gets put right here. This is Sarah Davies favorite is dead fold cards. That's so crooked. Shaniva, stop doing that. Okay, y'all. I can vouch for this tape. Um at least at least this batch of this tape. Because you know every batch is different sometimes. But this batch has staying power and removability for a short time. Uh-oh. <laughs> I glued it to the table. Okay, so we're going to put you right here. That one's going there. And then these two pieces is going to mat and layer on top of one another. There we go. And it, this one gets matted on here. This piece is a mat for there. And the reason why it doesn't have a mat layer is because this is one of the last ones that I did and I ran out of paper. <laughs> I ran out of paper. But I wasn't gonna not have a mat layer in there. So I just put a mat in there. See, it worked. Okay, so then this piece. This one gets matted right here. I was, look, I was at the bare bones of things. And that's why these pieces are so wide in the mat. Because I was scraping the bottom of the barrel on these pieces. And I could tell because they're matted with so much room. I was scraping the bottom of the barrel, y'all. Trying to get it at the last ones in. This must go to something else. Okay. Now, this one goes here. This one goes here, okay? And then this gets tapes here. It gets like that. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to do this one, and I'm going to butt this up against this edge. Like that. Okay, and then I'm just going to bend this back and just do about this far. Because you don't want it past the score line. And I'm just going to lay that right down. And then it'll fold up. Just like that. Okay? See? Great, great, great. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, so I think I wanted her over here. And doing the swan. Swan. I wanted her dancing right there. I wanted them up here. It's funny how I can actually remember where I wanted the stuff. I don't know how I remember. I want it. This one. I wanted this to go right there. Okay, 
I wanted my moon to be in the sky right there. Just a twinkle. Just a twinkle. <laughs> and then I wanted this one to be right here. And this one to be looking at him right here. Which, yeah. Because I was going to move this one over. Um, but I didn't. Was I supposed to put this down here? Is that why that looks weird to me? No, that's supposed to go there. That is for there. You just need to move over. Centurish. There. That's it. It needs to be more centurish. Okay. And there we go. And see how I left like that up, that up. I like to do that just to give the card some movement. Okay. And I, I don't know how come I have an extra one, but maybe I'll use it on something else. So I'm going to put it right there. So there we go. That's card number two. Okay. Here we go with the next one. And this card base, um, I got this one from one of my card kits again. Um, this one is from, I don't even know. I want to say it's from, um, the concept cards again. It's the concept card. And so this goes in the middle here. And then these are gate folds here. This is not paper from the kit. This is some paper from that same paper pack that I was telling you about. Okay. And then these go on here like that. There's one for each side. And then this goes in here like that. And this goes here. That's how this is going to go. Okay. So first things first, let's mat and layer this piece. Okay. We're going to mat and layer here. And then we're going to take this one. And this gets mat and layered right in there. Right, like that okay and then this piece um we're gonna use some glossy accents to kind of to glue this these down and i i have had glossy accents some of these bottles you could probably tell because they're yellowed for a long time um but they still work they still adhere it's still good a lot of times my um a lot of times my the whole of them get stuck but besides that these uh, this glossy accents work like a champ it works like a champ looks great and it gives you a little wiggle a little wiggle room too Did I even put some glue over here? How about putting a little bit? How about doing that? It'll catch it somewhere. <laughs> there we go. Okay. And then this matches up right here. So basically thing, if you can tell, I just kind of took all of my dies that I had and used them to make concept cards. So we have so many dies and we'd be like, what to do, what to use them with, or they came with something particular. And so I just kind of said, I'm going to use them with this box set. And then some of them I made myself. Some of the bases I, I made on my own. 
with scores and stuff. But one thing that I do know is um, I use some of my paper is too thick because those score lines be cracking and breaking. And they look, they don't look as good. They don't look as good because they be cracking and breaking because the paper I, I have, um, I had a subscription to Hammer Mill. Um, so when you go on Amazon um, and order your paper, you can put it on a subscription basis sometimes, um, depending on the seller. And so I had mine on a subscription basis where I was receiving a pack of Hammer Mill every, I think, three months. And I wasn't using the paper as quickly. So I canceled it, but not after having <laughs> several packs of paper delivered. Look at that. It's super cute. Okay, so that fits good. And the string is in here because I didn't want to lose it. That's the why the string is in there. I didn't want to lose that string. And so I'm putting this in here. Right. Right there. And then this piece says, love you. And I'm just going to put this piece in there. All nice and matte and layered. Okay. And then this string which is part of the collection goes right through there and then you just fold it down and tie in a nice bow and there we have it all right so that is card number three all right, I will see you in the next one.